Hey, Richard Blackstone here with today's Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, magic like. Create one love note. <laughs> and it is magic. It's magic because I am going to relay words to you that can actually transform your life. Now, if that's not magic, I don't know what is. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is read you a love note and then we're going to talk about it, see how it applies to your daily life. Okay? Okay, let's see. Love Note says, Give yourself the regular gift of inactivity, quietness, and meditation. Oh, man, cool. Often, the world we live in is so addicted to activity that we feel guilty when they take the time to be quiet. Taking time daily to be still and inactive opens us up to the spacious present. Taking the time to be still and reflective allows us to actually expand our unlimited nature because we are not restricted by the consuming activities we become addicted to. Meditation connects you to source energy and there is nothing more expansive or all-inclusive than that. But it is also and always very present but it is also and always very present and in the moment. Now, <clears throat> can you hear the call of your lawn asking you to lie down and look at the clouds for a while? Can you feel the pull of the flower that wants you to smell its wonderful fragrance? Can you resist the urge to just sit quietly and listen to the sound of your breathing as you contemplate silence? Don't worry, there's plenty of activity to get back to once you have given yourself the gift of quietness. This beauty of silence. Isn't it beautiful? It's, uh, it's so key to understanding this game of life on planet Earth. Because if you don't take any time to quiet yourself and reflect, then you are basically uh, not allowing this uh, ability to connect with your source at a high level. You are actually resisting that by staying active and and uh, on the go all the time because um, <clears throat> the source um, is really the, the, the space between the notes. It's the quietness between the words. It's the air between the objects. Um, this is what source energy is. Source energy is not a ball of energy uh, creating activity constantly. Uh, uh, the creation flows from your connection to source energy and that connection is best I mean you can do it in all different ways but one of the simplest and easiest ways that you can connect to source energy is to simply be still and quiet and reflect now my particular personal best way that I like to connect to source energy is to go walk in nature uh, and when I do that I don't bring any earphones or uh, anything that will distract me from being in a meditative state as I walk through nature and uh, just listen to the wind going through the trees. I listen to the birds singing in the, in the air the, and uh, the little critters as they go back and forth doing their thing because they know I'm no threat to them. When you walk in nature with this attitude that you are connecting to source and and to me, um, one of the words that I have for source energy, besides for like God or Allah or all that, is nature. <laughs> to me, I can define uh, this, this, this higher source, this energy thing, as nature. And when I do that, I can walk in nature, get immersed in that beauty. And what it does is it teaches me everything about life. You know, as I walk through the trees and stuff and listen to the wind going through the branches, that teaches me about the patience of life. Uh, it just, uh, it's a fascinating journey, and if you really want to understand life at the deepest of levels, then meditate in any way you can, and I would suggest one of those ways is to be a, a, a regular at walking in nature in, in any way that you can. And uh, I'm also a proponent of uh, silent meditation. I, I practice it occasionally. I'm not a real heavy meditator, 
but uh, I like to do it every now and then. In fact, I I do it quite often uh, just when I'm driving. <laughs> you know, I come to a stoplight or something, and I got 10 seconds, I just uh, silently meditate and, and send out love to everything around me. I'll look over the person in the next car to me and just blast them with love. And uh, it's all silently, but... Um, you know, in in uh, nature, in the, in the bigger scheme of things, um, uh, uh, communication does not come from sounds or words. Communication is nonverbal, and uh, so it's a real powerful, powerful thing to do. And it'll connect you to source energy, and through that connection, you get empowered in ways that you just cannot do by being on action, action, action mode all the time. Because when you're in that action mode. Uh, it's it's good to get things done and and uh, move forward on your projects and everything, um, but you can actually increase your productivity by occasionally just being silent and uh, and and then coming out of that silence and 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 you're just loaded with um, grounded information that that'll take your projects in a way that uh, you can't do when you're immersed in the action all the time. You know, it allows the universe time to fill the void uh, in the silence and show you the right way, guide you, mentor you, show you how to do it uh, uh, from a perspective of love. And boy, it just changes everything. <laughs> uh, quietness. You know, the universe could not exist without that silence in between everything. That's, that's, the, na that's the way it's built. You know, it's, it's built on silence. That's the background. And everything falls against that. And, and uh, ah, it's a beautiful concept. So, use that idea. Uh, map out some time in your day, uh, in your life. Mornings are absolutely the best. That's when you're closest to the source. Um, and so, take some time. Go into silence. Um, it, make it a, a regular practice to walk in nature as much as you can. And when you do that, uh, go there with the idea of, of being uh, part of nature. So that means, you know, no, no headphones, no stereos. Uh, none of that crap. You're there to be in nature, uh, to make the dance with nature. Okay? The music will come through that. <laughs> oh man, it's it's powerful, powerful. But it's uh, something that will uh, really help you on your journey. And so that's what we do here at Create One Love is create products and services to just help you on your journey to to get there faster, easier, and um, a lot more effectively. Uh, to me, that's just so important to to uh, take this journey and love the heck out of it. Because, man, it's just so much fun when you understand how the game is played. And that's, that's like I said, that's what we teach here at Create One Love. And one of the most powerful things you can do right now, and I want you to do this, uh, if you don't have it already, I want you to go to this website. It's uh, ConsciousLifestyleSecrets.com. Go to that website. There's a free ebook there. It's called Who You Really Are and Why You Are Here. That is going to uh, also tell you uh, a lot about the, the, the journey of silence. So go ahead and get that book. Uh, pick it up. It's easy and uh, you can be reading it in a couple of minutes. So that's it for today. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go out and walk in a little nature myself uh, as soon as we're done here. So uh, once again, this is Richard Blackstone. And as always, Live in love. Now, to me, love is the ultimate nature. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.